Because Laurel is a campus church, we have a continuous flow of people who pass through on their way someplace else. Typically, they're here while they are students of one of the local universities, or they may be here while they're working in one of the seasonal jobs in the area. Although their time with us is brief, we claim these people as our own. Laurel is the kind of church where once you're in, you're in. I mean this in the sense of you can't get out if you want to, kind of like the mafia. And getting in isn't all that difficult either. You attend enough services where a few of us get to know you, and buddy, as far as we're concerned, we're going to start claiming you as part of the family. I say this to point out that today, February 6, 2011, Laurel's history is in the making. This evening, the Green Bay Packers and the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to meet in Super Bowl 45. As you are watching Green Bay's offense line up, you should take special note of number 63, Scott Wells. In his time at UT, Scott played in 50 games. He started in 49 of those games, which is the third longest consecutive start streak in the history of the university. Scott's dad, Wayne, is the preacher for the Gainesboro Church of Christ over in Middle Tennessee, and when Scott was not at his home church in Gainesboro, he could be found on Sunday mornings right about here, sitting toward the back on the left-hand side of the auditorium facing the pulpit. Actually, Scott was six foot two, weighs 300 pounds, and while he played for the volunteers, he held the team record for the bench press. He bench pressed 545 pounds while he was playing for UT, which means uh, basically Scott sat wherever he wanted to. Today is going to be the first time that somebody directly affiliated with the Laurel family will be playing in the Super Bowl. That, folks, is history in the making. And that's not all. For most of 2008 and 2009, if you had looked a little to the right of where I'm seated right now, if you'd looked over by the sound booth, you would on most Sunday mornings have seen Janelle Arthur and her mother. Janelle considered Laurel to be her church home while she was performing with Country Tonight up at Pigeon Forge. Occasionally, she'd sing with our worship team. During the lunch on Orange Sunday 2009, she actually sang back up for me as I was singing Rocky Top. And uh, I still feel bad about the fact that I so overshadowed her that day. But about a year ago, she moved to Nashville, hoping to break into the record business. I had not heard how it was going until last Wednesday night when I was watching American Idol, and boom, there she was, our little Janelle. Janelle Arthur was in the middle of her audition song when Judge Randy interrupted her and he said, this is ridiculous. Yes. And all the other judges agreed, Janelle is going to Hollywood. So while you're watching American Idol in the next few weeks, keep in mind that Janelle Arthur is the first person directly associated with the Laurel family to be singing on American Idol. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Now, don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying that if you attend the Laurel Church, you're guaranteed to play in the Super Bowl or sing on American Idol. Not saying that at all, but I guarantee you this. It won't hurt your chances. That's this week's Laurel Minute. See you next week.